Matt Gates has resigned from Congress following his nomination as Attorney General from President-elect Donald Trump. Now, because of his resignation, the ongoing House Ethics Committee investigation into allegations of sexual misconduct and illicit drug use against him has ended. Lawmakers could vote this week on whether to release the findings to the public. As News for Jack's anchor Tarek Minor reports, Gates' nomination may or may not get him off the hook. Matt Gates is a great man. The federal sex trafficking investigation that started under former Attorney General Barr sought to uncover if Representative Matt Gates and his one-time political ally, Joel Greenberg, paid underage girls and escorts or offered them gifts in exchange for sex. Greenberg, who once served as Seminole County's tax collector, took a plea deal in 2021 after admitting to paying women and an underage girl to have sex with him and other men. Greenberg was sentenced to 11 years in prison in 2022 as federal investigators scrutinized a trip Gates took to the Bahamas with women who donated to his campaign. Federal investigators also worked to uncover whether Gates tried to secure government jobs for the women. I'm a March marked man in Congress. I'm a canceled man in some corners of the internet. I might be a wanted man by the deep state. Lawmakers have serious concerns. The timing of his resignation and flight with President-elect Donald Trump suggests he believes that this report is not friendly and, and favorable. Uh, so I want to read the report and find out what the investigation behind it Brought out. The potentially high damaging findings in the House Ethics Investigation report could have been released on Friday after a vote. But now that Gates resigned from Congress following a nod from Trump, the future of the findings remains unclear. Democrats and Republicans are skeptical about Gates' qualifications as the nation's top federal law enforcement officer. Matt Gates is, yeah, is just simply unqualified, uh, both academically, uh, professionally, uh, ethically morally and uh, experientially. Uh, he has no business being in this conversation. To be kind, I would say that it's an unconventional choice. Uh, to be critical, I'd say it's probably one of the worst cabinet position choices in the modern era of politics. FSCJ political science professor Daniel Cronrath says Gates is uniquely unpopular within the Republican Party, especially after moving to oust former Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Cronrath says there's still ample time for Trump to rescind the nomination because he hasn't been sworn in yet, saying there could be significant opposition if the Ethics Committee's findings are released or leaked. The only reason why you would want to resign this early, it's not to focus on the job that you still don't have, it's to basically stop the public from getting information that you don't want released. Top Senate Democrats are demanding the House Eth Ethics Committee release the report. It's unclear whether the panel will vote on the issue, but Senator Mark Wayne Mullen, an Oklahoma Republican, just recently acknowledged that it will be difficult to get Gates confirmed. We'll keep you posted.